Love is in the air. Lovers worldwide have this day especially to celebrate their love for each other. Everywhere around the world will be in red, white, and pink, from balloons to roses to food. Everything will feel like a love story on display. Though Valentine's isn't only for lovers, you can spend it with anyone you love. It's only more associated with couples because of its history. Before anything else, don't forget to click the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, let's get into the nitty gritty of how Valentine's Day came to be. There are many speculations about the origin of the day, but one thing is for sure, it has a depressing tone to it. Legend says three saints are named Valentine or Valentinus. Each of the saints was a martyr for defying Emperor Claudius II. Many speculate that Valentine of Terni, the bishop, was the actual reason behind Valentine's Day. Some say that the emperor beheaded him by attempting to help Christians escape Rome. Others say he was imprisoned and wrote a love letter to his jailer's daughter with the signature of, From your Valentine, a famous line till today. But others also speculate that St. Valentine's death commemoration was designated in February to Christianize a Roman pagan holiday, Lupercalia, a fertility festival and a tribute to Phanus, the Roman god of agriculture, and Rome's founders, Remus and Romulus. Lupercalia was later on banned by the 5th century by Pope Galasius because it was deemed unchristian. Thus, he declared that February 14th would be Valentine's Day. But it was later on, after the Middle Ages, that Valentine's Day is associated with love. At the time, the belief was that February was the start of the bird's mating season further embedding the idea that Valentine's Day is a celebration of love. Fun fact, the first record of St. Valentine's Day as a romantic event was in 1375. In Geoffrey Chaucer's poem, Parliament of Fowls, he stated, For this was sent on St. Valentine's Day, one every fowl cometh there to choose his mate. And since it's Valentine's Day, why not get a beautiful logo to match the occasion that you could use all year round? Just visit brandcrowd.com. That's B R A N D C R O W D.com. Type in your business name and press enter. You now see our media library. We have around 75,000 plus logo templates you can pick. Now, type Valentine's Day or any other keywords you want for your logo. Tweak the other options like logo types, font style, and color to whatever you want. Our library will suggest templates based on your preference. Once you have picked your template, click on it and you'll see our editor. For our example, we'll use the Red Heart Flower logo for our perfume business. Now you can see that we can edit the logo according to text, layout, background, logo, and shape. Tweak those with the features you want. And voila! You now have a sample to show your family, friends, or coworkers for feedback. After adding the last bits of comments from your family, friends, or coworkers, you can now take your logo home. Now, you can celebrate with your customers, family, and friends with your new Valentine's-themed logo. Stay tuned for next week's video, and leave a comment down below for any tutorials you want us to make. Happy Valentine's Day, from Brand Crowd to you.